The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Every day they liked to play and have fun together. But the little pigs kept growing bigger and bigger. Until one day their mother said to them, You pigs have grown too big to live here with me in this small house. It is now time for you all to go and build a home for yourselves. But when you do, take care that the big bad wolf does not catch you. Because if he does, he will gobble you up. So the three little pigs decided to go and build their own houses. And off they went into the big wide world to start their adventure. The three little pigs walked along a road until they met a man who was carrying some straw. The smallest little pig wanted to build his house straight away so that the big bad wolf would not catch him. So he asked the man, Please, sir, will you give me some straw to build my house? Yes, said the man, and gave the little pig some straw. Very quickly, the little pig built his house of straw. He was very pleased with his work and said to his brothers, Now I have built my house of straw, the wolf won't catch me. But the two other pigs were not so sure. We shall build a house stronger than yours, said the biggest little pig and off they went to find somewhere to build their houses. The two little pigs walked further along the road until soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. The middle-sized pig also wanted to build his house quickly so that the big bad wolf would not catch him and said to the man, Please, sir, will you give me some sticks to build my house? Yes, said the man, and gave the little pig some sticks. Quickly, the middle-sized little pig built his house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw, and he was very pleased with his work. Now I have built my house of sticks. The wolf won't catch me, he said. But his big brother was not so sure. I shall build a house stronger than yours, said the biggest little pig. And off he went to find somewhere to build his house. The biggest little pig walked further along the road until finally he met a man carrying some bricks. Please, sir, will you give me some bricks to build my house? He asked. Yes, said the man, and gave the biggest little pig some bricks. The biggest little pig built his house of bricks. It took a long time to build. But when it was finished, it was stronger than the house of straw and stronger than the house of sticks. The biggest little pig was very pleased with his work and thought to himself, Now I have built my house of bricks. The big bad wolf won't catch me. The next day, the wolf was walking along the road. and saw the smallest little pig's house that was built of straw. When the little pig saw the wolf coming, he remembered what his mother told him and ran inside his house, shutting the door behind him. 
The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed, and he puffed, and the house of straw fell down. The smallest little pig was very scared and quickly ran away to his brother's house made of sticks. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. After a while, he came to the middle-sized pig's house that was built of sticks. When the little pig saw the wolf coming, he also remembered what his mother had told him and ran inside the house with his brother, shutting the door behind them. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 said the little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed, and he puffed, and the house of sticks fell down. The two little pigs were very scared and ran away as quickly as they could to get to their big brother's house made of bricks. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. Until he came to the biggest little pig's house that was built of bricks. When the biggest little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside the house with his brothers and shut the door behind them. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 said the little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. But the house of bricks would not fall down. Out of breath, the wolf ran to the front of the house and knocked on the door again. Little pigs, little pigs, please can I come in? I am only very small and won't take up much room. But the little pigs were not fooled by his act and said, You are the big bad wolf and you want to gobble us up, so you cannot come in. The wolf was very angry and thought to himself, This is a clever little pig. If I want to catch him and his brothers, I will have to wait until they come outside, and then I will gobble them all up. So the big bad wolf sat under a tree by the house and started to wait. Inside the house, the three little pigs watched the wolf. Oh no, we're trapped, said the smallest little pig. And when we go outside, the big bad wolf will catch us and gobble us up, said his bigger brother. But the biggest little pig looked at his brothers and smiled. Don't worry, I have a plan. He went over to the fireplace and put a big pot of water onto the fire.
soon, the water started to bubble and boil. What are you doing? asked the smallest little pig. The biggest little pig put his finger to his lips and told his brothers not to worry. Then they looked outside again and saw that the big bad wolf was still waiting for them. Suddenly, in a very loud voice, the biggest little pig said, That old wolf is very stupid. If he was clever, he would climb up onto the roof and come down the chimney. Then he could gobble us up as easy as one, two, three. Outside, the big bad wolf heard the little pig. Who are they calling stupid? He said to himself and started to creep towards the house. Oh no, said the smallest little pig. The big bad wolf is coming to get us. Little pigs, little pigs, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to climb down your chimney and gobble you all up. The two little pigs were very frightened, but their big brother gave a big smile and they knew he would look after them. The wolf climbed up onto the roof and began to climb down the chimney. But just as the big bad wolf was climbing down the chimney, the biggest little pig took the lid off the pot and the wolf fell straight into the boiling water with a big splash. Quickly, the biggest little pig put the lid back onto the pot and that was the end of the big bad wolf. The biggest little pig was too clever for the wolf and the brothers laughed and cheered. The three little pigs lived happily ever after together in the house made of bricks. The End